Okay, so with simple interest loans, we have the formula as follows. It is FV, this is future value, is equal to the present value, that's going to be how much you invest, times 1 plus the interest rate times N, which is the number of years. And I, I have that written down right here. So that's what F, V, P, V, I, and N are. And so what, how this works is you just invest, say, $100,000 at some interest rate, say maybe 3% for a couple of years, maybe 10 years. Um, and then you're going to get 3% of that initial investment back each year in interest. So I don't know anyone who actually even has a simple interest loan. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. But this is the formula that we use to calculate them. I think pretty much everywhere you go now, you'd get a compound interest loan. But anyways, let's say we do that. We're going to invest... Uh, Let's say for this case, we're going to invest um, $100,000. Let's say that we're going to get a 3% interest rate. Uh, so we can also, we'll express this in the formula as 0 0.03. And let's say we're going to put this away for 10 years. Uh, we want to calculate how much is our future value going to be in 10 years, you know, based on, on this stuff. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and we can solve for this. We'll say that future value is going to equal $100,000 times 1 plus, well, let's, let's plus, times 0 0.03 times 10 years, right? The interest rate times the number of years. Uh, so this will give us, again, this is $100,000. times 1 plus, well, this would just be 0 0.3, or no, I don't know if we need to do all these steps, but we might as well now that we're here. Uh, so we get $100,000 times 1.3. So after 10 years, when you go to withdraw this simple interest loan, uh, you're going to have just 100,000 times 1.3, you're going to have 130 thousand dollars.